Hey guys, Madfish911 here, and today we have Nokia Lumia 800 Part 2. Okay, so yeah, as we were talking about yesterday, I I think this moves very like fluently and slick and nicely. Okay, and I want I'm gonna show you something right, that I was meant to show. Yes, well that I wanted to show in Part 1, didn't get a chance. If I go into like Google. Well, I'll try. I'm just going to search, press the dedicated search button. It straight away brings up Bing. And so far, I don't think you can change like the website that it brings up. So for the moment, it's just this, basically. So yeah, right here it is. You can do your search and whatever. You can do your talking to a teller, telling what to search. And this is another thing I want to show. It shows, see, like these wind little windows here. That is one of the things. I'll try like marketplace. Here's let's see what games. Oh, I think the marketplace on this is pretty good. It's not as good as like the big ones out there, like iOS, Android, or anything like that. But it's fairly decent. Now, see if I hold the back, I can go straight back to Bing search what I want, hold it again, go straight back to my games and if you have multiple windows you can still flick between like any 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 of them. So that I think that's pretty handy. And now also here is the games like app. I downloaded um two games here, or the cheat and GameSpot console free. I've tried out the two of them and here's basically all the things. Don't ask me why this says Shape Squash 2 because that's not even my Xbox Live online account, so I don't know. But look, it shows your avatar, all your requests and your messages and everything like that, all your games, all your like gamer points, your achievements, basically everything like that is on the Xbox profile thing is on here too. Let's check out pictures. I downloaded a few like random game pictures like Assassin's Creed and everything like that so let's have a look. This is how some of them tur turn out. You might not be able to see that real good but we'll try try zoom in a wee bit. This is Assassin's Creed 3. There's some guy in Assassin's Creed costume. And this is from the new Assassin's Creed Black Flag which I will hopefully be getting. Because I really like it. There's another one. Another one. And here is a dog. And here's you, Jackman, with his muscles. So basically, yeah, these are all the photos. Look. That is my dog. That is my dog. She's awesome. Her name is Eva. So, yeah. As I was saying before, I really do like this phone. It moves brilliantly, the speaker on it is really good. And basically just like everything you can do. I'll show you the camera. It's going to be pretty weird though because it's camera, true camera. It doesn't really look that good from where I am too. Like from looking through camera to camera. But yeah, that that is it. Basically with the camera. And you can pull up all your camera settings all here and everything like that and you can also if you go into settings or go into a theme you can like, choose between if you want dark background which I have on now or light background which is the, basically just pure white that's a bit bright though for you guys to see and although it does waste up a lot of battery using the light background obviously because you're using more of the battery to power that like part of your phone and here's loads of colours you can choose from. This the one I'm using is emerald but one of my other favourites is this red one I'll go back at home. Here it is here. And then there's and you can use my windows to go back. And here's another one. I think it's Nokia blue. Yes it is. I don't know why but I just like I really like this phone and 
Also, one thing that I don't like, as you just seen there, is the screen is very sensitive. So I touched off a tiny bit, and it brought me straight into Nokia Drive, which I didn't want to go in into because I haven't looked into that yet. I don't want to do anything like that. And then, like, I'll go into one of my apps. I'll go into Meme Lens. Okay, we don't we don't really care about this. This is basically an app where you can just put like the meme faces on pictures you take. So, if you did like this, guys, and you want to look into getting one yourself, just look about on like maybe like depend on where you are, eBay. If you're in Ireland, like me, dumb deal or something like that. Um, Amazon maybe. I don't know. I haven't checked there. Um. They're going pretty cheap. You can get the newer version as well, the 820 or 850, I think it's called. But yeah, I think they're a really good film, I have to say, just just of the way they are. Oh, and I also want to, to show another thing with the case on it that I noticed yesterday when I had the case on for a little bit and then took it off. Sorry, guys, I'll have this done in just a sec. There we go. When you're doing this, it actually feels like that the case is actually putting on like a lot more weight and a lot more thickness. Never that. And then when you have it in your hand for five, maybe ten, possibly fifteen minutes, and you take it off, the foam feels paper thin, and I just love that because it. I don't know why, but it just feels really good in your hand afterwards. This is it with the case on, just to protect it and everything like that. Doesn't protect the front, uh, but it just protects the sides, the top, the bottom, and the back. Basically, all right. So, guys, if you like this, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter at Madfish911. Okay, and also, um, there will be another video up today as well, and I hope you like that one too. Okay, all right, guys. Thank you, and bye.